Well, as a practicing minister and uh, pastor of pastoral care, I have the opportunity to go out and, you know, just uh, be on the scene of, of many different situations, suicides, murder, uh, rape, domestic violence, whatever situation may be. And, you know, as someone that continually is put into this, into this role, I often see situation from, and from a spiritual perspective. I, I go in and I'm trying to bring about peace, so forth and so on. But I'm, I've never really un, quite understood as a first responder from the police officers to the fire department or anything like that. I've never really looked at it from their perspective. And I've always wondered, you know, why do they act the way they do? Why are they doing, you know, some of the things that they're doing? It just seems to be so inappropriate. But after this particular uh, uh, instruction, I've determined that I need to start looking a little bit more of what they're dealing with. Uh, it appears to me that, you know, not only are they, are, they are professional professionals, but they're also people. And they deal with situations the same way that we do, from an emotional and a biological standpoint. So what I've determined, one, I need more training. This course has taught me that I need more training. I need to be able to see it from their perspective as well as a Christian perspective. And I also need to look at uh, those that are in pain, those that are going through. I need to be able to look at them a little bit different as well and not just treat them from a spiritual standpoint. I, I need to look and say, hey, I understand. I sympathize. I empathize with, you know, with what you're going through, and I feel what you're feeling. What can I do to be of a help? Uh, this chaplaincy program has really opened my eyes to see that it's not just about me, but it's about those that are going through the victims as well as the first responders.